So for today's video, we are going to be playing Master Duel because it is the first anniversary. So I got a couple of live ones for you today. And we already found a match. Oh, we win the coin flip too, baby. All right, we're gonna go first. I, I like winning the coin flip. I am going first. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't played in a while. So I've been, been waiting for new Blackwing support. So we got. Oh dear, game's kind of loud, but that's that's okay. We've been waiting for new Blackwing support, which still is not out. In case you didn't know, uh, we're gonna start off with a Roshi. We're gonna put her Matin down. We're gonna <clears throat> special on the tank, so that way we can do a, I believe, eight star. I believe an eight star synchro summon. I think that's what I want to do. No, it's not. Alright, we're gonna get rid of him and him. Yeah, Synchro Summon. Easy. Like, oh my god, this is Synchro. Okay, he forced me. Edit it out, I guess. Alright guys, for well, today's video, I am doing Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel for today because we are in the first anniversary event for Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, at least Master Duel anyway. Yu-Gi-Oh! itself is on like 25 years now. But we are gonna go first because why not? Oh no, it switched over to him for a second then. But we're gonna use the effect of Samu, and the only reason I am oh, I just messed that one up. That's okay. I messed that one up already. But we got a couple of live ones for you today, so you get my genuine reaction to. You. Oh no 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 no! No Ash Blossom. No Ash Blossom, please. I already messed up one. Yeah, so we played Master Duel because it's the first anniversary event for the release date of Master Duel. <sighs> there's the Ash Blossom. Yeah, there's the Ash Blossom. Yeah, that's what happens when you mess up. Word of note, don't mess up. Uh, so we're gonna get uh, our man on field. Uh, no, we're not gonna use this effect. I have a. I can special summon you, can't I? Oh no, no, you're not. You're not the one I'm thinking. So you will normally summon Zephyros. Activate the effect of Black Whirlwind. Because you can only use Ash Blossom once. Go with the Gale of the Whirlwind. Oops, nope. Special Whirlwind. Yeah, Gale of the Whirlwind. Uh. Okay, we're gonna go with uh, Y Strix. So y Strix on the field. Uh, 
Yeah, we want white strix. White strix. Give me a four star. Uh, yeah, this isn't going the way I wanted it to. Okay, so we will get Zephyrus back in the field now. The Black Rolling back in my hand. Zephyrus and Attack. Take one of the points of damage. Typically, I don't. <clears throat> Synchro summon my seven stars there. Hmm. Let's put four Strix. I haven't played this game in a while because I've been waiting for a new Black Wings for it, but it's still not there, so. We're gonna play the first anniversary event and then wait some more. Select a card to aim from the deck to your hand and hold it. You, because you are a good extension. I'm sorry, I don't know your, your, your Chris. I will put some on the field, we'll put you. Get that in there. Activate effect to detach and special summon. Uh, we're not going to use that right now. So put uh, uh, Phantom Knights. Is this Rusty Bardiche or Boots? No, this is Rusty Bardiche. Boost it. Black. Can't talk to any of Boots is the one in my deck. Alright, let's start playing this a little bit faster. There we go. Discard Boots, we'll get him. And we'll discard beats again to the Spanish pile. And we're not going to activate anything right now. We'll add that to my hand. Alright. Now we're getting somewhere. So we're going to XYZ into my friend Raider tonight. Three cards. We get rid of four tricks. They're used as effect, and we don't need her Uh, We'll do four tricks for because I have a plan. Uh, cancel. I don't want. I don't want him on the field yet. Now we use Bardisha's effect to destroy the monster we summon. So that we can get Arsenal Falcon. Because Arsenal Falcon is cool. We could also get Satellite Falcon, but Arsenal Falcon. Or no, Arsenal Falcon is who we use the ability. We want Ultimate Falcon. I don't know why I said... I said Arsenal Falcon because you're on my screen. Alright, no. And we're going to summon Arcademian. 
obviously you attack me. And then... Uh, you are special summoned as a warrior. Yeah. Because you're supposed to summon this warrior, we'll summon you now. We're gonna activate XYZ Rebellion Dragon's Effect. We're gonna detach Rager's Knight. So we can have that 10,000 attack point beast on the field permanently. Yes, I would like to use the effect of all of So he can take a thousand burn. The reason I say permanently, because normally, apparently, I, I didn't, I found this out the hard way. Apparently, Raider's Knight ability would destroy the monster summoned with it. Uh, it's a fact at the end of his turn, or the end of, I guess it would be the end of your opponent's next turn. So at the end of this turn here, my Arc Rebellion would be destroyed, but as you can see on the side of the screen there, Arc Rebellion cannot be destroyed by card's effect. And with the added effect of Raider's Wing, he cannot be target with card effects at all. Or basically, if they had a like change of heart, they, they shouldn't be able to target him with the target. What is he doing? A rock deck? And all oh, you and is adamant okay, adamant adamant adam I can't say that. Add Emancipator? I didn't even get a single one of those cards. Yeah, Add Emancipator. We're going, that's what we're going with. Yeah, I don't know if that's good or not. We're just gonna assume it's good. Adam, 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 I'm pretty sure it's Adam Man's Could be wrong. Could be wrong. Ooh, another Adam, Adam Man, oh. I'm gonna get hurt saying Adam Man's <laughs> Pater. During a main phase, you can activate the... Excavate. Okay. Oh my gosh, I really can't talk today. I can't read. I know how David feels now. During the main phase, you can excavate the top five cards of your deck, and if you do, you special summon one excavated rock monster in defense mode. Also, place the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. To okay, you can pick the order. That's nice. If a wind monster is in your graveyard, pick it. Holy excavation. I am not a fan. Oh, okay. Adam Emancipator Researcher. Look at that. More excavation. What's this? This card is sort of a have up once per turn. During your end phase, this card is 600. Okay, that card is useless. You think there's something for a trip? There we go. Look at that, dude. During the main phase, you can excavate the contact card to your deck, and if you do, you can add. Okay, that one goes to the hand, place the rest on the bottom of the deck in any order. And Emancipator. Uh, I'm not reading Researcher again. You wanna read Researcher? I thought the side of the screen. What does the rest of this card do? During your opponent's turn, if a fire monster in your danger or quick effect, you can turn your one rock monster in your danger. What? Thank you for coming from the base. Anim- I quit. I quit. I can't even read. During your main phase, you can- oh, he's gonna activate more cards. You can turn cards into- 
opponent controls of the hand. Oh, excuse me, number of excavators. Oh, that's not good. I, I, I don't like that. I don't think that works, though. We, he's unaffected by Carnifex, and he can't be targeted, so... I think we're in the clear. Right? Oh, he just clicked on it. He clicked on it. I don't like that. No. Okay. My 10,000 attack point monster is now no longer on the beat. Yeah. That's not what I wanted. So that means... Ranger Swing is in the graveyard. Why was it? I don't. I guess I don't understand these cards that say put back in the bottom of the deck. That's the smart thing to do. I think I'm gonna lose this, guys. I think I'm gonna lose this. Yeah. All right. I know what I need to draw. Is a black wing monster, and I really don't think that's gonna happen. Really don't think that's gonna happen. Really don't think that's gonna happen. Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. That's something. So, what we are going to do is we are going to monster the porn. Oh, I don't know. Alright, we're gonna release the monster and porn later. Monster Reborning Raider Swing. Fell off called by the grave. Well, unfortunately, that ends my turn. Ah, man. No way I get for being cocky. <laughs> There's Adam Antiquator. Yeah. I'm gonna lose. I think the only reason I'm gonna lose is because in the beginning I accidentally got rid of my lost two points. It would have been such a much better turn if I didn't do that. I lost. I, I, I don't like surrendering, so I'm just gonna take my beating. Yeah. Just, just, just end it, dude. You got more than enough. More than enough. You had more than enough. I know I said I was gonna take my beating, but he's just okay. 
Uh, now he's just being mean, so I'm surrendering. I don't, I don't need to be rewarded for my defeat. I'm not, I'm not gonna sit here and waste my time. Alright, here we are in duel number two. I am not going first. I didn't get the kill. We'll just have to see what our opponent has in store for us. This, this isn't the worst starting hand I have had, but it's not good. At least I can get all of my monsters on the field that I have, and then I can make something work in the extra deck. <laughs> oh, pot of prosperity. Pat of Prosperity, a card that needs no introduction whatsoever. I hate Pot of Prosperity. Picked a card. Okay, I'm not actually be able to do something here. Let's try, because I have time. I have. Alright, let's try and do it. Oh. Okay, we do this right. If we do this right. Okay, we're gonna keep Bora on the field, I believe. The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to get. I'll do one more. I didn't think you didn't think somebody would forfeit that way. Alright. We're going against Gerald, and after that last one where the dude forfeit, we are now in bronze. And this is the second one. Okay. I have not gone first. So if we go based off that last one, I'm gonna win. By forfeit. <laughs> I know that's a bad way to look at it, but it is what it is. Oh, we got a couple hand traps. We got Ash Blossom and Ghost Spell. And a lot of people, when I get both of these, they just forfeit when I'm when it's this low in rank. So we'll see what happens. What's he got? Le le oh no, this is worse than the the add up the blabada. I don't know what the first one was. <laughs> oh no, we got tribrigade. Lear Lear Lirwa? Lear 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 Exceed something for a one star. That is rare. Uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna use Ash Blossom's effect. We don't like that. Uh, what does this do? This card is like C, so I one face of monster in the field, the game is blah blah blah. Once we're turning in trash material, add one winged beast monster from your deck to your hand. Oh, okay. That would actually kind of help me if it wasn't a one star. Graveyard. If this card's sent to the graveyard. 
say. Uh, I don't, I didn't catch what he was using. Okay, we got Serialisk, DD Crow. Discard, discard your graveyard and target one card in your opponent's grave. I don't have a card in my graveyard, do I? Okay, he forced it. We're gonna try again. I would like to get a full, another full duel. But with whatever happens in the next one happens. Alright, so here we are against Jefferson. Whatever happens on this duel, happens on this duel. This is gonna be the last one. And then, remember, I am doing these live. So, this is boring for me too. I'm just kidding, I'm having fun. I'm having fun, I'm just kidding. Wait, holy moly, I actually got a good hand. Yeah, kinda. He's got a hand trap. Probably Maxi. Let's see. This will confirm my suspicions. Because I believe he can actually Ash Blossom the Black Whirlwind coming from the deck. So we will activate the Black Whirlwind effect. I should have played my other one. We will get Oster. I actually, okay, so it's not. Could it be Nibiru? I don't like Nibiru. Activate Oscar's effect to summon Gale from the uh, graveyard. Activate Black Whirlwind. Activate Black Whirlwind, number two. That way we can get two monsters from my deck to my hand. We'll get Harmatin and Hiroshi. Summon Gale from the Dragon Pile. And then we will special summon... Special summon Harmatin. Activate Harmatin's effect. Target him so he gets level 6. And then, our first Synchro Summon. This will confirm or deny whether or not we have Nibiru in the opponent's hand. So this is my fifth summon of the game. It's not looking like it. Our special Roshi in defense. Is Nibiru five special summons? I'm going with no. Okay, we do have Monster Reborn. Uh, I'm not going to use that though. We can get Y Strix. So we will get rid of Gale and Roshi. Do something like that. Hopefully this guy doesn't force it. I might actually get to do what I want to do for his move. Activate Y Strix effect to get a oh there's the fourth food. Oh. I'm sorry I didn't get a f oh connection failed? That means he so on PlayStation, because that guy has not got the little PlayStation logo next to him. Um it could be <coughs> it could be his internet. But usually on PlayStation uh, I play Rocket League a lot. I plan on uploading that in the future. But usually on PlayStation, when connection has failed, they either go to their settings and like turn off the internet or unplug. If they're wired, they'll unplug the Ethernet. And the other one is um, they'll just quit the game. Like they'll close out the application. But I don't know if closing out the application comes up as a connection failure or not. But that's kind of how it works on Rocket League when people don't want to lose their rank. But for God's sake, I'm in freaking bronze. Losing losing a duel in bronze isn't going to kill you. But he could have he just surrendered and it wouldn't have affected him at all. So I don't know what connection failing means in here. It could be his internet. It could be maybe he didn't want it to go to his stats. But uh, if you enjoyed today's video, remember to like, subscribe, and share. And uh, thank you for watching.